Okie dokie. For question number one, your task is to write two different formulas that return a final value of true. And you must use at least one function in each formula. So, starting with formula one, let's use the OR function. The OR function tests multiple conditions or values and returns true if at least one of those values or conditions evaluates to true. So with that in mind, select cell D4 and enter the following formula. Equals OR function and select the range B4 through B8 and then press enter. The OR function finds at least one true value among the values in B4 through B8, so it returns a final value of true, which is what you want. Now for the second formula. For this one, let's use the AND function along with the NOT function. The AND function tests multiple conditions or values and returns true only if all of the values or conditions evaluate to true. If any of them evaluate to false, then the AND function returns false. Now the NOT function tests one value or condition and returns the opposite of what that value or condition evaluates to. So the NOT function will turn a true into a false and a false into a true. With that in mind, select cell F4 and enter the following formula. Equals NOT function AND function and select the range B4 through B8. Then close parentheses twice and press enter. The AND function finds at least one false value, so it returns false, and then the NOT function takes that false value and transforms it into a true value. And that completes question number one. Let's move on to question number two. For question two, your task is to add a function to the formula in cell F5 to fix the error and return the value of not found. To solve this question, I recommend wrapping the current formula within the ifNA function. This function checks for the NA error like we see here and returns a specific value if this error is encountered. And so, selecting cell F5, Add the ifNA function before the VLOOKUP function, and then add a comma at the end, type in the desired value in double quotes, and then add a closing parentheses. Once you press enter, you can see that the ifNA function catches the NA error generated by the VLOOKUP function, and then it returns the value of not found instead. Awesome. That completes question two, so let's move on to question three. For question number three, your goal is to calculate the minimum if minimum is selected in cell F3. Otherwise, you want to calculate the maximum. Anytime you are faced with a if this, do that scenario, you want to use the if function. So, in cell F5, enter the following formula. Equals if function select F3 equals minimum in quotes, comma, min function, select the total sales numbers, close parentheses, comma, max function, select the total sales numbers, close parentheses twice, and then enter. The if function checks to see if minimum is the selected value in cell F3. And if it is, then the if function executes the second argument, which contains the min function to calculate the minimum. However, if the value in cell F3 is not minimum, then the if function executes the third argument, which uses the max function to calculate the maximum. How awesome is that? Well, that completes question three, so let's move on to question four. For your final question, you must write a formula to automatically calculate the selected metric in cell F3. You must also return zero if no metric is selected. So to solve this question, I recommend using the ifs function. This function allows you to run multiple tests and execute an action depending on which test is true. 
And so we will test to see which metric in cell F3 is selected and then execute the proper calculation to get the desired result. I also suspect that this formula is going to be quite long. And so let's go ahead and expand the formula bar by clicking here and dragging down. At this point, go ahead and select cell F5 and enter the following formula. Equals ifs function, select F3, and then equals, select H4, comma, average function, select the sales numbers, close parentheses, and add a comma. Now at this point, I recommend pressing Alt Enter to add a new line to the formula. This will make your formula easier to read. And after you've added a new line, select cell F3, and then equals H5, comma, count function, select the sales numbers, close parentheses, and add a comma. And then insert a new line, and then F3 equals H6, comma, max function, select the sales numbers, close parentheses, comma, insert a new line, F3 equals H7, comma, min function, select the sales numbers, close parentheses, comma, insert a new line, F3 equals H8, comma, sum function, select the sales numbers, close parentheses, comma, insert a new line, 1, comma, 0, close parentheses, and enter. Your formula is now complete. And if you change the metric in cell F3, you get the proper calculation in cell F5. Plus, if no metric is selected, the ifs function will look to the second to last argument, which is the 1, and a 1 automatically evaluates to true, and so you get the final result of 0 just as the question asks. And that officially completes question 4 in your ninth Spreadsheet Life Google Sheets Challenge.